Inventors, this is Saurav. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create the app that can save our contact name using our voice command. So let me show you the demo of this app first that we will create this app. So that's our app here. There's two fields, name and number. So you don't need to put here anything here. We just need to click on that save contact. And let me just click on that button. Name, hurry. Okay, a number. Number, three, four, five, six, seven. Your number is saved. See, your number is saved. Let me just check my contact list. Hurry, yes. And the number is, yes, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? So you can put any number here, like your contact details. So this will save your time. You can save that number. You can use one more button like manual save. Whenever that I will save a number. So before saving that number, she will she can ask you like if you want to edit something here and now then we can save it. Otherwise, like uh, we can edit the thing like like Harry. I don't want to put only Harry. I want to put something uh, else here, something like that. So you can do that. So we can do a lot more thing with this uh, amazing functionality. So let me just show you how we can create this app. So here we go. So we are using your MIT App Inventor to create this app. So we just need to click on start new project. And my app name is suppose voice contact something and OK. Now we need a simple layout here. So I'm going to use your one vertical layout arrangement. That one make it fit and hide this fill parent like this and change that background color to something. Let me just try this one. It's fine. Now I have to use here one button like this and I need here two text box. So one and then two and I need one label to display the status of my contact. It's fine. Now let me just make it all these in our center like this and let me just change that button background color, make it pink, make it font bold, make it at least 16 and call here save contact or you can change that text color to white okay but i'm going to make this background color a little bit dark like that okay save contact and that we are going to use your status we will display your status so make it at least 18 and make it text is white cool now we have two text box in the first text box we will use your name and your number you don't need to put that number and name this will automatically put here and now let's drag and drop some media go to the media and you will find text to speech then one thing is extension and we need two extension here so first one is voice recognizer i will give you the link of this extension and you will find that extension like just search here free voice recognizer extension without google dollar then you will get that extension here just download that aix file and go to the mit app inventor and we need to just import that extension if you don't want to use that extension so you can use the google recognizer both are same just the difference is uh, this will not display the dialog box and uh, our google dialog will display the, uh, that uh, box so that's why now we need one more extension is contact saver so just search here contact saver extension app inventor i will give you the link of this extension also in the description so you have to download that aix file so just scroll down you will find that just download this and let's go to the mit app inventor and import this extension also like this and import it drag and drop this one and this one both cool just go to the block section and write the code just click on a screen and you will find whenever a screen will in a slice then we have to ask some permission so see they ask for permission and just write down here one text is we have to write simple read and underscore contact this one and whenever we got that permission so you can see here the permission granted that we will ask again one more permission for 
right we just need to do just here right simple now we need your two permissions now we need to code for our voice recognizer so we will create one both the variables here two variables like simple is name and one number number and let's go to the text and just drag and drop here in the blank number is also blank now now whenever someone click on that button it means that button save contact so we have to call here a speech recognizer so button one dot click on that button one click we will call here a speech recognizer call get text so whenever we will call this automatically this will get our text then we need to set after getting the text so we have to find that the, what the text is so what is the text so how we can check that so we, we have to use your control and if and then like logic like this and the suppose the cat result is suppose someone say name Hari and name uh, name Saurav something like that so we have to check that if the name is uh, containing that uh, word or not suppose let's say you can see the contain option here contain so whenever someone say something like name Saurav and this name Saurav is contained name name then we will consider this as a name of the person so we will set the, that name in that global variable here okay now we have to remove that name from that uh, uh, string so simply call here this one replace all that text and all that text it means get result and the segment is the name and we have to remove that name from blank it means nothing it means now we have remaining the text after that text we will set that name in our text box one dot text here cut it and get this one name now we have to get that name this one fine now after this if or you can say else if we just need to call it again same procedure see if the that text contain the number so whenever you tell that number so you have to say like a number then nine one two three like that now let's copy paste this and we have to save that as a number the number variable and whenever that text contain the number like this and after this we have to set sorry we have to set that in the text box two dot text as a global number not name this one now we have both value it means name and number now we have to save this so we have to call here one processor we have to create one processor and we have to call click on that contact saver and you'll find save contact this one just call it here and in the values we have to set so click on that dictionary and you'll see create empty dictionary this one now on that call automatically this will call this this function will call contact created this one and this will also so we have to add this one add data type so this one on that we have to call mime type so what is mime type mime type is something like uh, the like a contact list for the for the contact so for that mime type is is vnd dot let me just make it zoom so you can see the proper i will give you that uh, write up also in the description so no one will confuse vnd dot android android or you can search this in your uh, google also android dot cursor dot item slash name just copy this and the value we have to save is we have to create one dictionary here so let me make it zoom out create the dictionary and you'll see the, the key and value this one so but for that we have to create a dictionary so create make a dictionary this one call it here and okay let me just delete this click on setting icon and remove one pair from here and in that key and value we have to save 
the first is like data so suppose this is the data one and in that data one we have to save a number so what's the number number is a text box one dot text value so or you can say that uh, that variable name also but I will use as that text box one does that suppose you want to change that text so you can do that so text box one dot text this one we will get that as a name and like the new contact ID we have to use simple the result this one that result we have to just copy paste this as it is and and the another we just need to use your need to change that name to the phone underscore and then v2 this one and the data should be data one this one and the value we have to get it from text box two this one okay now we have called this after calling this we have to check that the data is saved or not so we will call that that function so on that you can see the label so we will display the value it means the status of the contact number is saved or not so suppose here if this is successfully saved then this will return true otherwise this will return false now what i can do here i can make it more like uh, more interesting so we can do one thing here we can use text to speech so suppose whenever someone call like something if the, the, they say like a name is harry then we can say that okay now i know the name so just tell me the number so i can say like here okay and number or you can say like a number like that or after this you can just call it like if the save is true or something after successful so you can check your condition you know if that status is true then you can say like uh, your number is saved otherwise you can say sorry your number is not saved so if the status is true so like logic here and to make it true if the successful is equal to true then i say your number is saved your number is saved like this okay so after this we have to call here that procedure that we have created see that one so click on procedure call procedure and at what time we have to call it after getting that number then we will call this procedure so guys, I have done one mistake and it's really important. This is, you can see the read contact. So make sure you have to use your read contacts. I will give you both thing in the description. Contacts, right contacts. It's important. Otherwise you will get the error of permission like permission denied error. Okay. So make sure you do this. So that's the overall code. If you have some doubt, you can ask me on command. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.